Hey what's up guys so I'm back again with the best apps for this month and to subscribe for more monthly gaming and app videos a lot of amazing apps and games gets released every month and you don't want to miss that. So let's get started with the app. The first app here is Muviz. So this app adds a music visualizer in the navigation bar and it looks really cool. The main task of this app is to make the phone look more visually appealing. And this app uses the microphone, that's why it works with every music player out there, even YouTube. The phone just needs to hear the sound and this app will start creating those visualizations. And there are many customization options to change where the visualization occurs and how it looks. You can change its shape, size, transparency, color. There are many presets loaded up in this app and you can also create your own from scratch. So overall it's a great app and you got to appreciate the idea of this app. So do try this one if your phone has a navigation bar. The next app on the list is IV. So it's a sidebar launcher and unlike other sidebar launchers, this sidebar consists of more than apps. It allows to add a lot of things which makes sense. So you can swipe to get to the sidebar and the first thing you will see is a list of apps. Swiping this list will bring you to a list of contacts. And on the bottom, there are a few icons displayed. Those are the icons of the widgets. And pressing them will load up the widget in a small window. And below that, there's RSS Reader, which displays articles from the source that you have added. And swapping above will allow you to switch between the source. In this sidebar, all the items will be chosen by you. So you can choose which apps you want, which contact and the widgets you want in this sidebar. And all of this is displayed without blocking the background app. So you can load up this sidebar occasionally while switching between apps and get a lot of information. And there are many more customizing options in the settings menu. You can choose where you want to swipe from at the transparency level of the sidebar and a lot more. The next app on the list is Pyrope. So Pyrope is based on Sanat and Mod Browser and is lightweight, making the experience fast and smooth. And this browser is specially designed for Snapdragon processors. So if your phone is equipped with one, you will notice significant improvements in speed. And the navigation here is neat. Swapping from the edges acts as back and forward. The tabs are organized well. There is also background audio. So even when the browser is not in use, the music keeps playing. So you can play music from YouTube, SoundCloud and then start using another apps. But still the music will keep on playing. The next one here is Paper Plan. So this one is very interesting app. It does not add any new features but this app is really fun to use. So in this app you create your own plane then throw it using this motion. Then the plane gets along with millions of other planes created by people all around the world. Then among those planes you catch a plane then view where it's been then stamp your location letting the next finder know where it has been too. It's really fun to be able to see where the planes you have created has been around the world and how many people have found it. So do try this app, the link is below in the description box. The next app on the list is Trip Tracker. So this app is created by Microsoft Garage team and it will track your activity in the background. So as soon as you start moving it, it will track that trip and save it. The trip starts and ends automatically even if you are walking, driving or cycling. All this data can be viewed later with the route you traveled in the map. The tracking system is battery efficient but it does consume battery. So if you are always running out of charge, this might not be for you but if you have few percent is left every day, this will be an awesome app to have. The next app here is Lyrica. So this app is for music lovers where you can lead lyrics, lyrics meaning and what other people think about a particular song. So you can even provide your own song meanings. And there is about a million songs in their library and more meanings are being added as people start to use it. And this app will also be a great place to discover new music as you use this app, this app will know what type of music you like and based on many people's comments, this app has been able to suggest music that match their interest. Next on the list we have Firefox Aurora. 
So this is a new browser from Firefox for Firefox users and if you use Firefox in PC, you definitely need to try this one as it syncs very well with the desktop version, all the data gets transferred here. And the UI is also slightly different, there's the main page and the right swipe will bring you to bookmarks and history for faster access. The tab management is also very simple and the overall design looks good. This browser also supports add-ons that can integrate with many popular apps like Pocket, LastPass and you'll have add-ons like ad blockers making the experience much more like the one of the desktop version. So all of the new features that gets to Mozilla browser is first seen in Aurora. So you will be able to test out many new features before it gets out in the final version. So that's all about this video. A lot of great apps gets released every month. And if you also want to be able to create an app, you must check out our sponsors, Hacksaw Academy. So it's a place where you will be able to gain practical programming skills. They have got different projects which are split into many 30 minute sessions. All of these projects teach you how to program and also provide practical programming skills being able to learn and experiment code at the same time. Their editor is also well designed with all previews, instructions and code displayed in the same screen. They have 14 days trial for you to test it out. The link of the trial is in the description box below. So if you want to be able to create apps or learn any other programming skills, you need to check it out. So that's all about this video guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more monthly gaming and app videos.